Hey everybody, I'm Kaz and welcome to CyberLift. Today we're going to take a look at an article that was published recently. CNBC published an article featuring Ford CEO Jim Farley making a comment in an attempt to take a jab at Tesla. The comment read, Blue Cruise, we've tested it in the real world so you don't have to. I'll go into why that tweet was so ridiculous and how it painted a very bad picture for Ford. Hopefully I can adequately highlight how foolish it is to make a statement like that when you clearly don't understand the depth of deep learning computer vision and neural networks. This article goes on to also bring up several crashes that have happened recently. The tone of the article plus this mention of these crashes tends to loop it together as if there's some type of underlying issue with full self-driving. This tries to bolster the narrative that customers testing this system is the irresponsible way to go or unpreferred method. There's a link in this article by CNBC to the article about the crashes and the source, the author of that article was Reuters. So at least that one, you know, is a little bit more credible and isn't full of loaded language that is trying to favor Ford in some way. It is important to note that in that article, the driver said he was in cruise control and that he lost focus for a second and plowed right into the trailer of a semi truck. What I took from that article was the fact that this guy is even telling us anything at all. He had minor injuries after basically having the top of his car shaved off by hitting a trailer. That is amazing in and of itself. It's unfortunate that he got into that accident. And yes, it is a testament to the fact that we need to be paying attention behind the wheel of these vehicles, cruise control, autopilot, full self-driving, whatever the case. However, the fact that he had minor injuries and was able to even tell us about this, I think that's a testament to how safe these vehicles actually are. Full self-driving marketing makes it sound like Tesla is ready to take this wide and have you hop in the back seat with no worries. Tesla has always been very clear when it comes to this beta, this driver assistance feature, the fact that this is not a level three, four or five system yet. They were very clear with the DMV, even though people ignore that part. And they've been very clear with customers. Anytime anybody activates anything in their autopilot, they have to accept the waiver, that they need to pay attention, that they have to have their hands on the wheel, this is not a system that's been regulatorily approved for true level five autonomy. Elon's mentioned several times that feature complete full self-driving, which you could argue is the current full self-driving beta build that about 2000 people are using, simply means that there is a non-zero chance that the vehicle can execute a drive without any interventions. This does not mean that it is a perfect system and that it will work every time. It is remarkable. There are fantastic videos by Dirty Tesla showing how good this technology is. Even dodging a deer at night on a dirt road. Link will be in the description. The thing to understand about this tech is that we want it. We want to test this. People who are ready for that download button, people who are testing this beta, it allows us to be at the forefront of engineering, to be at the front, to see what's coming next, to be the first ones at the door. That's an experience you don't get from anybody else. The biggest part of that, that Jim Farley, the CEO is missing, is data. 500,000 miles tested and then sent to your customers is dangerous. That is unreliable. That has not held up to enough scrutiny, to enough edge cases, to enough scenarios to validate itself. If anything, this statement about Blue Cruise highlights the lack of understanding of deep learning, computer vision, and neural networks. This isn't a dig at Ford or their engineers. This is primarily an issue I'm having with how the CEO came out to try to take this jab at Tesla to bolster Ford's position in this. Did more to show how lacking Farley's understanding of autonomy is. Apparently Ford doesn't need data to finish their system. Maybe the tweet should have said, Blue Cruise, we don't know what we're doing. To anyone with any basic knowledge or understanding in this field, or anyone who's even been paying attention to Tesla the last year, has some sort of understanding of how hard this problem is, how much data is required. It's because so many of us are testing this beta and so many cars are on the road that Tesla is able to get billions of miles of data. And deep learning neural network training is a data game. The one who has the most data is the one who solves the problem. There's a fantastic interview with Andre Karpathy on the Robot Brains podcast. I'll link that in the description as well. Anybody who has any desire to know more about Tesla's autonomous system, that is the best source. That's coming from the head of autonomous engineering himself. There's a point in the article where I put my hand to my face just concerned with the wording and how the Maki and the F-150 are gonna have this Blue Cruise technology, which sounds to be an upgrade from their co-pilot tech that's currently in their Maki. 
Ford may have been building vehicles for over a century. However, they're way out of their depth here. It's important that the CEO, above all else, doesn't make these types of comments that just smear a bad name over Ford. There's no doubt brilliant people working there trying to catch up, trying to solve these technological problems, trying to bridge that gap with Tesla, which seems to be an insurmountable problem. But the sooner that they can understand and realize how much they have ahead of them, the better their chances of avoiding fading into our memories as the good old days. I'm actually rooting for Ford to make it. I'm excited for the electric F-150. I actually got to get in and drive the Mustang Mach-E, although for about five minutes around the block because there was zero incentive from the dealer to entertain me at all or to show off this vehicle, which I plan to make a video later about my experience and a more in-depth review. I want to actually get my hands on a Mach-E for about a week and really put it to the test. I drive three to 500 miles a day. I'll be able to really feel out how strong that vehicle is. This Model 3 has been amazing and I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of electric vehicles. But it starts with realizing where you're actually at, especially in autonomy. If you haven't seen it yet, you absolutely need to check out Now You Know and look at Zach and Jesse as they had the Mach-E with them and they actually tried out Copilot. And I won't spoil it, but the results weren't very deserving of the praise that the CEO seems to give. Thank you guys for tuning in. I didn't really want to do this in the car, but since I got the new face mount set up and it doesn't look bad, I figured I might as well. The house wasn't an option today. I would like to set up a better spot at home to respond to things like this. I wasn't sure that I would even do this, but when the article came across my newsfeed, I could not resist. And I like being able to actually get good information out there and put some perspective on what's being said. CNBC is not known for being very wise in their dealings with Tesla. It's seen all through the mainstream finance media. So I can't really say I'm surprised to see an article with this tone reflecting negatively on Tesla's full self-driving. I understand it's frustrating that the FSD beta button keeps getting pushed back. In hindsight, this amount of time that we're waiting is going to be so minuscule compared to the big picture, but that's not how we think. We want it now. I want it now. I want to be able to bring a lot of great content to the channel and share the excitement. I'm hoping to get a lot of good interviews or rides with customers reacting to the tech. So, I will keep you all posted. But thank you so much for your time. If you made it all the way to the end, I really, really appreciate it. I know I'm new at this and this isn't quite the quality of some of the great YouTubers that are out there, but I will evolve, I will make it better, and I'll do everything I can to bring you valuable content. Take care.